A follow-up now to a story we've been reporting for weeks. Southern New England is gearing up for another gypsy moth invasion. And the caterpillars are already hatching, and they're a cause for concern. We've been inundated with questions on social media from viewers like you wondering why the state is not doing more to fight the caterpillar invasion. So today we took those questions straight to the Rhode Island DEM for answers. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Pixotto has the story from Gloucester with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom. The Department of Environmental Management says last year 226,000 acres were defoliated by gypsy moth caterpillars and experts expect similar if not worse numbers this year. The state has said it does not plan to spray against the caterpillars so we reached out to the DEM to find out why. At first glance you may not notice anything different about this tree but look a little closer and you'll see them. Dozens of white egg masses covered in tiny black gypsy moth caterpillars. The uh, gypsy moth caterpillars uh are hatching. Most of them, as a matter of fact, have already hatched. Forest Health Program Coordinator Paul Ricard says 1.3 trillion gypsy moth caterpillars are expected to hatch this year. Last fall, the DEM formed a committee to decide how best to handle the outbreak. They decided not to spray against the bugs. It's practically impossible to spray 400,000 acres of, of forest land and even if we did, we couldn't assure that the gypsy moth infestation would stop. And how much would it cost to even attempt to do that? Are we talking hundreds of thousands of dollars here? Oh, no, we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars. Along with damaging trees, hairs on the caterpillars can cause irritating skin rashes. That's a nuisance, but it's not a public health hazard for the majority of people. But residents can spray their own trees for some relief. Ricard says safe and effective products contain either BTK or spinosis as their active ingredients. And Ricard says those pesticide products can be purchased at most garden centers or hardware stores. In Gloucester with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.